Good afternoon, everybody. This is March 24th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. And this is the aftermath video of the storm we just had. So we have clear skies today, temperatures 40 degrees, and we're gonna do a complete tour of Big Bear Valley. Hope you guys enjoy. It's gonna be a long one. It's gonna be a long one. And we got my beautiful wife here with me and our little doggy who we have this neck support thing because she keeps on biting at some area on her butt. And uh, she's she's making it raw. She has a hot spot. Yep, she has a hot spot. So we are, yeah. As I said, this is gonna be a long video. I'm excited. I'm excited to do this. It is about 12:45. Um, Unfortunately, since it's such a long video, it's gonna take a long time to upload, I'll, I'll tell you that. This probably won't, won't be ready till about 5 or 5.30 tonight, but that's okay. This is one of the, the hotels I've stayed at called The Lodge at Big Bear Lake. You can check it out on my playlist. Um, I stayed in the biggest room they offer. It's like 1,100 square feet. Very interesting how, how the room is uh, designed. It's like the biggest living room with like not that that much furniture so this person just pulled out didn't even look left just pulled out but hey it's a beautiful day what are we gonna do about it all right let's see all the roads in and out of town are are, are looking good right now last night at about 9 p.m you guys i drove down to san bernardino and it was scary as can be, not because of the roads being icy or anything like that. They were wet. I didn't slide it at all though, but it was snowing and raining and it was so foggy because we were driving into the clouds. It was, it was, it was pretty crazy. Um, I, 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 I did not enjoy it. <laughs> Sent my wife, a, 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 you know, a couple texts um, telling her that I'm freaked out. It was it was really really scary. You couldn't see you couldn't see the end end of my hood up there. It was it was really really bad. <clears throat> so guys, the only neighborhood we're not gonna really go do is Irwin, but we're gonna hit everything from uh, Upper Moon Ridge to Sugarloaf. As a matter of fact, we're gonna take Moonloaf again because it'll save us a lot of time. <laughs> But that's gonna. But we're we're gonna miss a bunch of Big Bear City. But that's okay. That's okay. We're just gonna get the main spots for y'all. Obviously, we're starting in the village. Mm -hmm. And then yesterday we did the video, which I'll be posting in a few days of the hotel. And uh, it's a surprise which hotel it is for you guys. So when you see it, I hope you'll you'll be happy. Um, I got a full tour. We got to, to check out all the different rooms that they offer there. And I didn't realize that it has an extra floor there too. I had no idea. It's really, 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 really pretty. What do you think, babe? Do you like it? It's beautiful. Okay. My wife's rocking out over here. I just told her, like, uh, mouthing it, like, take off your headphones because they want to talk to you too. But you know what? At the same time, she's. No, she, he's right. I'm being rude. No, that, that, no, 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 it's not rude at all, babe. It's not rude Welcome at all. To the channel. <laughs> then it's got her little orange peel on this foot protect. It's like a cone. It works like a cone. These things are so cool. Yes. I highly recommend. She might need a little bit bigger. But it's doing its job for sure. It makes me so happy. Crepe Cafe, you guys, that that little blue shack right there. If you guys want something yummy and sweet, and also to support some of my favorite people by far in Big Bear, stop by there. We're gonna do a video there. We're gonna interview the owner Abron and his wife Leslie. And all the recipes are from Leslie's family. She's from France. 
And so these are all authentic French recipes uh, for these crepes. And I'm telling you what, you guys, like these are, aren't they just the sweetest thing? So good. <laughs> One of my favorite places to go. Like, oh my gosh. And also about them, they moved up to Mammoth, you guys, about seven months ago. Um, they're renting their place out here for Airbnb stuff, just killing it, killing it. But they're they're opening a crepe cafe in Mammoth, and they were really wanting us to go up there for the grand opening. And I really wish that I could have you guys. I really, really, really wish that I could have. Those are definitely people that we we love to death. We really want to support them. Um, they've been really, really good to me. Um, I think the only like party that I've ever gone to up here was at their house. The only party I've ever, ever, ever been to here because I stick to myself up here. And I mean, just really, really amazing hosts, good people. As I said, I like to refer you guys good businesses with good owners also. It, and then what I'm going to eventually do is show you guys all the businesses up here at one point or another. Um, and then have you guys make up your own minds. But I will mention to you guys which ones I feel are the are are the best in, in my opinion, especially when it's owners who actually put you guys first. Because once again, you guys hear me say this all the time, but without you guys, we don't get to live here. You guys create our economy. And with gas prices, there's no way I could afford to drive up and down every day for work. But that would be the only way I could possibly live here. All right, so we are at Moonridge Road. We're gonna turn down Moonridge and go into Upper Moonridge. But we're gonna <coughs> do our drive-by. You know what, instead of going down the main part of, of Moonridge, someone wanted us to take uh, Elm to Cougar so they can see their house. So I'm gonna try to do that. If I have to stop the video and then start recording again, we will do that. But you guys are so good to us, I really wanna make sure that I can do what I can for, for y'all. Regarding the weather, um, as as you can see, it's 41 degrees. That clock is about 30 minutes fast, so it's not it's not one o'clock yet. And uh, let's see here. Um, next week, it looks like we got some some more snow coming, but it, it's not going to be anything significant. The worst case, we we could get three inches of snow. And I I believe that's next Tuesday and Wednesday. I'll have to check on my weather app when I'm not driving. Alright, so we're gonna do this little roundabout right here to go from Elm to Cougar. So this is Elm Street. We are turning right on right now. There's a parking lot for Bear, Bear Mountain right there, a big parking lot. I remember as, as a kid, we would have to park there sometimes when there was no, no room to park at the resort, and then the tram would pick us up. I think the tram comes every 15 minutes or so. Okay, so this is Cougar. We do take this route a lot, you guys, a lot. But we're gonna kind of go into Upper Moon Ridge through here, and then come back wrapping around to Bear Mountain. So we're we're doing it this way just so these people can possibly see. I don't know the address, so I can't really point left or right because I want to make sure that if I'm I'm at least getting it in the picture, that would be important to me. So how are you guys doing today? It's good to hear from you guys all the time. I love the comments. I love the comments. You guys are so sweet, so supportive of us. This is such a passion. I, I love doing this. 
I love showing you guys our, our little town up here. I've only lived here for eight years. I came from, from Newport Beach. That's my home hometown, and my wife is from Whittier, where the girls are prettier. Right, babe? Yep. You got that right about that. Prettier and Whittier. Prettier and Whittier. That's correct. Let me turn this off. I don't need that super heat on. So we're going to turn right here on Vine. And we're going to take Vine to Lucerne. And turn right on Lucerne. And then we are entering Middle Moon Ridge area. And we're going to head up to the Upper Moon Ridge. Or you know what? Since we want to take Moon Loaf, we're actually just going to, uh, we're going to hit Upper Moon Ridge in just, in just a moment. We're just doing a little drive through Middle Moon Ridge, and then we're going to go by Bear Mountain, and then take uh, Sheephorn up to the, up to the top, and do a loop around Upper Moon Ridge, and then we will take, um, like I could have got over a little bit, jeez. His road. It's his road, and we're all just passing through it. <laughs> okay. I'm excited for you guys to see the time lapse, which we'll probably post tomorrow of this last storm from the hotel. <laughs> it's, it's probably going to be a fairly long time lapse, but that's okay. It's really, really, really pretty. Okay, we're going to make a... You know what, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna make a left here. And this street is called, uh, what's this street called, baby? It's called the... Yeah, the... It's called Sunset Drive. Sunset Drive, and we just turned off of Silvertip. So Sunset Drive, and we're gonna turn right on Silvertip and take this to get to, uh, back to Moon Ridge Road this way. Once again, I hope you all are doing great. We've, we've been really, really enjoying our time with you. It should show you how much we care that we had our, our live feed going up at the hotel while we're trying to like get a break and just try to enjoy life because you only live once. And you know what? I, we, it seems like we enjoy life better with you guys in our life. And that's, that's a beautiful thing. So I just want to thank, thank all of you for being so awesome. Sounds like I'm flying, doesn't it? But I'm, I'm really not. I'm, I'm going approximately 19, 20 miles an hour. You never want to go fast in these neighborhoods, especially because with all this snow around, you do get a lot of kiddos who are trying to have a good time and go sledding. So this is Moon Ridge Road, which we're coming up to right now. That guy's going a little faster in the neighborhood than he should. Once again, I know I sometimes drive fast, but I'm really never really driving faster than the speed limits. It's just sometimes in some of the bad conditions, it just looks bad through the camera. But I don't, I don't want to hurt myself and I especially don't want to hurt other people. place you guys here's our golf course over here I don't think you're gonna be able to really see it that's so beautiful if you guys want to play a, a quick par 3 executive course this is this is a good little course every every hole has incredible views Bear Mountain right now, y'all. 
just so amazing. And there are a lot of people up here right now, you guys, for the skiing and snowboarding. Let's just take a nice look over here. shut the camera off until we get past where we just were because we need to uh yeah i don't want to waste your guys time so we're going to shut it off once we get back to bear mountain here and then we're going to take sheep horn to upper moon ridge all right this is this is good for now we'll see you guys in a second it'll only take a split second to get there watch you'll see all right, you guys, we're pulling back up to, well, here's the golf course, and in two streets from here on the right is Sheep Horn. We're gonna turn right on Sheep Horn and take that up to the top. So we are headed into the snowiest part of Big Bear. And inevitably, you guys, we're going to miss a, a couple little parts of, of the valley, but for the most part, we'll be getting most of it. There's that gully, you guys, that I always talk about that runs through Moon Ridge. I don't think you can really see it right here, but it's just on the other side of this little snow bank here. Seriously, people driving so angry. It's like, what? Like, what's your deal? You're in Big Bear with a lot of snow. Like, enjoy yourself. Imagine being that angry up here, babe. Like. I'll tell you what, my worst day in Big Bear is better than my best day living down the mountain. Just because there's there's just so much less going on. Of course, I like the hustle and bustle every now and again. That's what I grew up with, but I'm just all about that mountain life, that retreat life. Um, I mean, the, the one thing I really do miss are the opportunities down the mountain. The opportunities to to, to grow financially. and um, But I am following my passion. I only live once. Besides YouTube, I have another job that I work full time. Um, because YouTube doesn't, doesn't pay any bills. But um, I'll tell you what though, it keeps me sane because I get to deal with all of you guys who are just the sweetest people. But yeah, I don't really have many bad days up here because it's just so peaceful and so beautiful. And this is one of our, our buddy's houses over here. I don't know if, if we can see it. I, th I think that's it. We'll just keep the camera pointed over here just in case. One of my family friends growing up in Newport Beach, they owned this place and this place right here. Um, these are my my older brother Steve's friends and he, Greg got into real estate um, many, many years ago, um, kind of with my mom at the start. I believe she was a little bit of a mentor for him because my mom was a real estate juggernaut and Greg Lombardi ended up buying those two two spots and 
his his wife when I I first moved moved up here was like always really really excited when I would do these uh, videos um, because we would drive right right you know right by their house and she loved it because she could see him skiing from their um, second floor balcony at Bear but sadly she she passed away a few years ago due to a really horrible cancer. Um, it's really, really, really sad. Like I've, I've, I've known them since I was a little, a little tiny baby. Well, I'm not much bigger now, but <laughs> really, really, really sad. A wonderful family. Um, yeah. Pothole galore. We're on uh, Villa Grove now, you guys. And we're going to take this all the way around. This is Upper Moon Ridge now. For those of you who didn't know. This is considered the snowiest part of Big Bear. Of course, one more snowier area would be the, the peaks of our ski resorts. But for any place where you can live in this area, this is it. And it's just so pretty. What do you think, honey bunny? Beautiful. Look at that. Look at how cute that is. That bear with the drinking coffee. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Papa and Mama. Did you see the mama? I didn't see the mama. Oh, she's dancing was... with a dress on. Oh, that's so cute. Inside the house. Oh, that's so cute, babe. Picking up all the trash while the Papa had his coffee out there. <laughs> <laughs> dare he. <laughs> Especially this day and age, how dare he. That's toxic masculinity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> yeah, there's a bunch of beautiful houses up here, guys. I think, uh, I think there's a lot, well, I don't think, there are a bunch of Airbnbs up here as well. Just keep in mind, you guys, if you do want to be in this snowiest part of town, just remember that getting up here is 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 a is difficult. Um, from down at the bottom in Moon Ridge, it's not easy when the roads are icy and snowy. Um, there's every one of the streets from Butte to Sheephorn, Calusa, all of those. Um, you see cars stuck and sliding backwards down down these hills. It's it's just. It's very scary, so keep that in mind. I know you want to be in the snowiest part, but uh, just remember, it's, there are a lot of risks involved. You've seen lots of cars stuck on like Butte, right, baby? Oh my gosh, I've seen the worst. I've seen cars sliding backwards on Butte. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Crazy, huh? Crazy. Yeah, it's the worst. Imagine that feeling, like just completely out of control. Of course I want you guys to have a great experience up here I don't want you guys going through anything like that but once again at at the same time it's a bit of a risk reward situation because you're rewarded with all the snow and beautiful views so now I think this side is technically like even snowier so I think we're actually entering the snowiest part all, all of upper moon ridge is considered the snowiest area in in big bear but this is uh this is the snowiest part of upper moon ridge that we're driving into right now and a lot of big beautiful houses up here fun to uh, plow. That was the one thing when my mom had a house in Lake Arrowhead when I was 10 to 15 years old. A lot of those homes, most of those homes have the steepest driveways and it's not, not easy at all to get up and down. Even in a vehicle like this one. I'll never forget one time um, because my mom had a Rolls Royce Phantom many, 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 many years ago. And 
we took it up there <laughs> and she got stuck at Jensen's Market in the smallest little um, driveway because those cars are so heavy those cars are so heavy but it was really embarrassing I never liked it because I was embarrassed I just I was like that's just you know I just wasn't a fan in hindsight as an adult I'm like wow I I can't believe my parents were at at that point and someday that would that would be nice if I knew that I could at least afford one but uh nowadays sadly my mom and dad for the past almost 20 years they don't have anything any extra money I have each month which is not all the time I I, I, I give to my mom because she's she can't even live on her own anymore she lives with my older brother in Redlands now she moved there about a year ago from from the beach area and it's just it's just really sad wish I could do a lot more for my mom more snow over here these homes are gorgeous too that house looks really 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 nice but for some reason it just looks like it would be cold cold inside but I doubt it it's probably really really warm it just looks like paneling not like thick wood and... how you doing dog how you doing little doggy Yes, yeah, she, she gets to use it as a pillow too, which is great. Oh, she's a good. She's a good little girl. Oh yes. Oh, she, like <laughs> she loved it. Let's get that for me, baby. Please. A little tiny snow plow right there. I wish we had one of those. All right, we're back to Wolf. Now we're gonna hang a left and head over towards uh, Moonloaf. And do a Moonloaf adventure. Again, what's cool about Moonloaf is that we're killing two birds with one stone because we get to do Upper Moon Ridge and just shoot right across to the very end of, of Sugarloaf and then do that. There's the tax, the street tax when you need them. So at the, the the hotel we're staying at, we would have thought that they would have had microwaves in the room, but they didn't. And my wife suggested that I ask them, but I didn't think that that they would have any. Long story short, upon request, they will bring one to your room. And I like that a, a lot better than just having a microwave in in like in the room. It's just it keeps it classy. <laughs> I kept telling him, go get the microwave from the house. Yeah. And he's like, I'm not getting the microwave from the house. <laughs> like, why not? We're going to be here a week. <laughs> I would have been so frustrated if I brought it and then I found out shortly after that we could have it. Our microwave is so heavy. It's not that bad. I guess. Yeah, you're right. It's not that bad. It's, it's meaty. It's, it's, it's all right. You could have carried it up some stairs. Totally. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. My hot meals in the mic my microwave hot meals, which saves a lot of money. So, and those are my favorite too. What brand is that again? 
So it's your favorite, but you don't know the brand? No. Interesting. Because I just found them. And <laughs> I just found them. Oh, okay. So these are like microwave dinners, guys, that you like don't keep in the freezer. It's mm -hmm. like really weird to me. I'm thinking of all the preservatives that must be in these things. <laughs> like I'm staying away from them, but I'll try it if my wife says they're that good. Okay, so we're on Yosemite, turning left on a street called Angel's Camp. And then we're gonna take this to uh, Klamath, which is where the road to uh, Moonloaf is. So remember guys, we are in the very upper, upper portions of Upper Moon Ridge right now. As I said, this is the reward, you guys, if you guys can can get your vehicles up here. Just these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful places. Oh man, Dave, I would love to live in, in, in one of these houses, my goodness. But if you don't have dreams, you'll, 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 you'll never get there, right? You gotta be dreaming all the time, but put an action into it. stands really really pretty it's a monster house right here on the corner I wonder if that's an Airbnb I don't see any Airbnb sign there it'd be nice to get your kids up here to our kids to stay there all right you guys so now we are at a street called Klamath and this is the entrance to Moonloaf which for those of you who don't know it's a connection between Moon Ridge or Upper Moon Ridge and Sugarloaf which saves you driving through most of the valley to get from one spot to the other and it's the shortest it's not the shortest, but it's a very short dirt off-road area that gets you there. So we're about to leave. I don't know, I gotta roll up our window because I don't wanna splash any of the mud from this dirt road up here into the car. So here we go. We go from a regular road to now a dirt road. And the wetness is gonna make it a little harder. All, all this snow melt. We're probably gonna be sliding a bit, babe. But we'll make it. We made it yesterday or the day before, whenever it was. I think we'll make it today. It feels like that driving ride <laughs> at Disneyland. Luna's like. In her orange peel. Okay. A good road to be on when you have to use the restroom <laughs> well when, when, when we get up here we'll stop do you think there's a restroom up here yeah there absolutely is <laughs> <laughs> word of the wise don't eat yellow snow guys <laughs> or brown <laughs> or brown <laughs> oh, there's a big chunk right there what is that houses back in here imagine how hard it is because this road is not maintained by the city I don't think 
so it makes it pretty tough if you're a resident back here but living back here you probably wouldn't be leaving much anyway my only concern would be if you have a medical emergency if this road is thrashed how are you going to get any help wow look at how high this see it's scraping the bottom of the car and this is a lifted vehicle as well so i know my other car would have my, my new car would have really struggled through here private conservation land this whole area over here no vehicles look at how pretty this is up here you guys definitely bear country up here oops I don't know how we're going to get around. You know what? We're going to do this. Oh, thank you, buddy. That's super cool. All right. He, he, he was very, very kind. This is going to be rough right here. Hang on, guys. We're going to have a big drop off right here. Oh. Okay, hang on guys. I'm gonna... Okay, you guys, here we go. As I said, this is the scariest part of this whole road because of this cliff to the left. And some seasons, there are such huge rocks on this road. gonna be driving it kind of on the side of the slope babe for a second wow it changed overnight it really did look at this big drop off right here okay we gotta take this part really slow Whew. yeah my other car would have really struggled We're almost there. Almost made it into Sugarloaf, you guys. Perfect timing also to meet this, this vehicle at the bottom so one of us can get out of the way. I hope he's going to the right. He's probably not. Oh, he's going to that beautiful house. Thank you. All right, look at this creek right here. Bunch of runoff that will eventually get into the lake. I'm excited about seeing how the lake's going to look, you guys. Oh, look at the squirrel. Hey, little buddy. Scary cat. All right. So we are entering Sugarloaf now, you guys. This is the very end of Sugarloaf, so we get to drive all the way through. Shuggy. Then, as I said, we're, we're going to skip uh, Irwin Lake. Because we don't have, you know it's gonna be a long 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 video we're about just about halfway through it maybe just less than halfway through it because we got to go through Baldwin up to highway 18 on the back side okay here we go Barton Lane this is 
a main road in Sugarloaf that, that splits the upper part of Sugarloaf from the bottom part of Sugarloaf. On the right, you got upper Sugarloaf. On the left, lower Sugarloaf, which is what I call it. It's all just Sugarloaf. But if you guys want to be in, in an area renting your Airbnb where we could where you could see bears and often you want to be on one of these streets on the right hand side up here way up way up near near the top I got a phone call. You know what, baby? We can finally use the AC in here, huh? What do you, what do you think? Just lightly? Do you want, you want, I'll put it on your seat heater. To kind of counteract the AC. Here's the, a restaurant in Sugarloaf called Callens. Good, good little place. And then Easy's General Store. So now we're on the main road in Sugarloaf. This is called Maple. We're not gonna go all the way down Maple. We're gonna take uh, Baldwin Lane to Highway 38, just to get a little bit of Highway 38 in. Looks like I'm flying, but look, 25 miles per hour. Speed limit's 35. As I said, through the camera, you guys, it really does look like I'm flying. But I'm, I'm not going nearly as fast as I get criticized for, I promise. sugar tub it's funny to have a surfboard there not a snowboard but here are our very brave firefighters of Sugarloaf and we're turning right on Baldwin Lane right now the most magnificent houses in all of, of Big Bear from my experience are, are coming up um, down here, you would turn right and go into this neighborhood. Uh, I'll show you guys what the street is, but these are amazing, amazing houses. One of our friends took us on a tour of one of their two major mansions here. That place was huge, huh, babe? Pops? Beautiful. Yeah. Pops is a cool dude. He is a cool, cool dude. It's going uphill, the guy's crazy. Heritage Trail. So in that that neighborhood, I'm telling you guys, some of the biggest houses. Houses that remind me of like some of the homes where I grew up, like near Newport Coast and just, I mean, you drive, you look away and 10 seconds later, you're still driving by the same house. It's like, what is going on? So here's Highway 38. We got some traffic coming this way so if you turn right here you guys this is one of the ways out of this area to head back down the mountain but we are not going that way even though driving to to in and out does sound good doesn't it babe <laughs> let's do it 
it's Friday. It's my busiest day. I I wish I could. Maybe maybe Sunday we'll do it, baby. I won't be here Sunday. I thought I thought Monday. Well, Monday's my appointment, but I was thinking about going Sunday night and then getting my appointment early and coming back afternoon Monday. Okay. If that's okay with you. Uh, yeah, of course. That's always okay with me, babe. And then. So I can knock it out faster. And then over here to the left, if you turn left at this next street, it is a really nice mobile home park off of a street called Montclair. Really, really nice oh, mobile yeah. homes. They have a pool. And uh, just nice mobile homes. <laughs> Next little area we're gonna drive through will be the least snowiest part of town through Baldwin Lake once we get to the very end. I'm interested to see. I'll bet there's a lot of spots that don't have any snow. Thanks, baby. I love you too, babe. So when my wife goes down, we're gonna get to see our dog again. I'm excited, she's she's bringing him back home. I have a dentist appointment down there Monday, so I'm figuring Sunday night I'll leave, do my dentist appointment really early, and then be back up <laughs> Monday afternoon, or <laughs> evening. <laughs> All right guys, so right here, this is Big Bear Boulevard. We're gonna turn right, and when you turn right on Big Red Boulevard right here, it's called Shea Road, S-H-A-Y. Heading into Baldwin Lake. And then Shea Road up here turns into Baldwin Lake Road. I wouldn't mind having a house in this area. This is nice. I wouldn't mind either. It's just my only issue with being way out here is I would wanna live further out here. Mm -hmm. And it's just so far to the grocery stores and also, for me, you guys know I, I love the snow, just significantly less snow out here. I mean, just pay attention to how little snow we have out, out here, you guys, because we're eventually gonna get to the Big Bear Dam on this drive through Fonskin, and uh, it's just a huge, huge, huge discrepancy. I just love the houses up here and how much more property they have. On, Big time. On There's equestrian properties out here too. Yeah, lots of horses and stuff. And uh, maybe we'll get lucky today and see some of the donkeys, who knows. Where we saw them in that other aftermath video was coming up right, right here. here yeah. Yep. Look at the donkey sign. Yep, donkeys, yep. I, I, that's weird, babe, I've, I've never noticed the donkey sign. Really? I thought it just meant that I was going to be driving through here. There's a donkey coming through here. <laughs> okay, so there's the lake. There's Baldwin and it has water. It's a lake. It's beautiful. We're going to get to get much closer views of that, you guys. This is where the donkeys were just lined up. I was driving the oh, other... I can't believe I missed that. The, the other direction. I know, babe. I was really sad, you guys, when I watched that video and saw that. I was just so sad that I missed out. I was sad that you missed it, too. I, I feel like I would want to get off the car and try to, like, pet one. Yeah, they'll boot you so hard. <laughs> <laughs> and anyway, you, you shouldn't be riding on the car anyway, babe. You should be in, in the car. <laughs> My wife always says, yeah, I'm going to get off the car now. And it's, it's like... <laughs> Like, what does that mean? Like, you're in the car, babe. But she says where she she grew up, that's that's <laughs> that's what they say. It's proper language. Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 you're so cute, babe. Wow, look at how much water the lake has. That is amazing. We're gonna get much, much, much better views when we're on Highway 18 of all that water, you guys. I'm super excited. That is, look at that, babe. So incredible. So 
there's a, a sledding area right here coming up on the right, which uh, might not be the best at this moment, but it's a good place where I, I like to refer you guys for free sledding, and it looks like they're sledding there now. Where? Right here on the right. So remember, this is on Shea Road. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that dude. Charging. Woo. It's awesome, babe. Someday we're gonna have our own little tiny tykes to get out there and sled. That'd be hilarious. Actually, was thinking when we do our sledding video that I will take Theo with me uh, sledding down. I think he would really enjoy that. So I'm gonna have to buy another GoPro mount, chest mount, so you you can wear one too, and then we can patch the uh, videos together. <clears throat> or if you can trust yourself to hold the camera. They're super durable. If it falls in the snow, it's 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 totally fine. So you don't have to worry too much about ruining our cameras. Wow, it's so pretty. When there's a lake over here, it, it just it just gives me the the warmest feeling inside. I don't know why. But it's oh my gosh, it's huge. That's a big lake. Wow. Isn't it amazing? It really is. It's unbelievable. You know what, guys? I'm going to give us a little treat. We're going to cut through. There's a neighborhood up here behind that hill on the right-hand side. Like, it's not Pioneer Trail. Pioneer Trail is coming up here but you guys would never know this you know what we're, we're gonna drive up there baby okay you know what i'm talking about right there's all these big horse properties up here um so we're gonna turn right on a road called ponderosa if i if i remember it's called ponderosa springs or something and then when you get up to the top there's a big flat area with a bunch of houses and big big equestrian properties been. no way babe i'm yeah. i'm excited as Oprah would say, I'm excited. She said that? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Everyone's getting a new car. <laughs> okay, I think this is it. Ponderosa Ranch. Ponderosa Ranch. There's the lake again, but we're gonna go up Ponderosa Ranch, you guys. And as I said, most people would never know that this big neighborhood exists back here. We're not gonna go through the whole neighborhood. We're just gonna kinda go in here and then out the side. Here's a street called Chaparral. But look at this, guys, look at, look at up here. No one would know that this is up here if, if you don't live up here. And a lot of people that live in the Big Bear area don't know about this area either. It's just, I mean, this is where I would want to live. Okay, I want a house here. I totally want a house here too. And a horse. And two horses. <laughs> I mean, look at look look at how cute these places are. And as I said, we are way up here. This is an electric fence, I think. So the horses don't take off. I don't think it's electric. I think it's just... No, it is because there, there are signs that, that, that say... Um, watch here. I think this might... It's electric. I yeah. can see the little coil. Yeah. There. Oh. I mean, look at how beautiful. Just, just beautiful properties up here. Look at the horses. And, and caballo. All of these are ranch properties up here, by the way. Sorry, maybe I'll need to read. 
reach across like that. <laughs> so this is gonna take us back down to Baldwin. Baldwin Lake Road. But yeah, there's a lot more to this area if I would have kept on driving. stuck in this little mud. Oh, whoa. We were starting to float in the mud right there. That's not good. Someone's chain said goodbye. We're driving over them right now. These roads are pretty flat, though. Yeah. They aren't. Like huge dips. They aren't bad. Hey, whoa, look at this one. Oh, this is, look, look at that. That's a, a big, oh. oh, guys, that was close. We bottomed out right there. Right as you say, it's flat. <laughs> but it really is a lot flatter than you would think up here. Wow, we're sliding all over the place. Beautiful houses. I don't think you guys can really see it too well, but you get the point. This is another kind of private neighborhood without a, a, a security gate or anything like that. As I said, most people would never know that this huge area is back here. Coming up to Baldwin Lake Road. All right, cool. We made it safe and sound. Now we're gonna head back. Oh, look at those mountains over there. It's so beautiful. There's Sugarloaf Peak, the one right in the middle of the screen. Oh, it's so beautiful, you guys lake right there oh my gosh i wish they would find a way to keep that water in this lake i know these are huge money projects but the day that i end up running for office out here that's going to be one something i'll i'll probably run on is making sure that our lakes are consistently full and doing whatever we have to do there is a project in place right now called the lake replenishment project I think it's like a 50 or 60 million dollar project and I think we're about 10 to 12 million dollars into it right now where they're going to use our water treatment uh, plant to uh, treat our sewer water and everything yeah everything that goes down our drains clean it and put it back in in the lake and we'll eventually have a full lake constantly there's, there's no one back of us we're just gonna zoom in real quickly look at Baldwin Lake So pretty, you guys. take Vail Drive, you can get all the way down to Pioneer Town. Take that street Vail and you'll be driving hours on dirt roads to get down near, uh, kind of close to Palm Springs area actually, at the very southern point of our mountain range. I mean, that is just incredibly beautiful. tell you what, there'd be more homes built out here if that lake was always full. You think so? Oh, for sure. For sure. Because that creates that old adage, location, location, location. This place will finally become a location, you know, where people want to be and spend more money. Out in the middle over here, there's like water drinking spots. Like, is it Water fountains? Mm -hmm. Really? Like if you walk out, I'll show you. I point didn't. towards it. I didn't know that. Yeah, there's... And I always thought, well, maybe. Maybe it used to be an, some type of an attraction. Like those water spots. 
really is something else, you guys. I mean, it's a, such a beautiful place. And while we're over here, we're going to turn right when we get to Highway 18 to show you guys uh, the view from up top down to the desert and then we're going to turn around and start heading back towards Fonskin. This is a real aftermath video, huh, babe? Show everybody the whole area. Obviously, as I said, we, we're we missing Irwin, but... Where are those water fountains, babe? Oh, over, over there? there? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll have okay. to show you when we get back down. So we're heading right here to Lucerne Valley, or to head towards Lucerne Valley. This is how close we are to starting to head down the mountain when you're on this side of town. You'll see just right around this corner up here. Oh, that's so pretty out there. Backside, Highway 18, the backside to Lucerne Valley, which will take you to Apple Valley and Victorville and all those other spots. All right, so we're going to use this turnoff right here. This is where you start going down. Babe, I'm going to go stand on one of these rocks real quickly just to get that view. Be careful. I will be very careful. I'll be very, very, very careful. Okay, guys, hang on. We are in park. We're good. Hope I don't slip. So that's the desert down there, you guys. You're looking down thousands of feet. I think we're good. Just wanted to get you guys a quick view of that. This is gonna be a super long video, so we gotta be extra cautious about doing this for you guys because I don't want you guys to be super bored in the video. Hang on, I gotta could you hold that there? Just so I can put my seatbelt on. Thanks, baby. Appreciate you. Alright. See, I can see there's hardly any snow over here either. Okay. You got it, my friend. And I'll say hi to her right now. Sandra says hello. like who's that <laughs> just kidding sandra's like a like a grandma to us she's a super super sweetheart she is really really nice how is she doing anyway have you seen her lately maybe a few weeks ago yeah yeah how's she doing oh okay okay i think yeah <laughs> Even though Marie Callender's do make some darn good pies. One of the areas 
I lived right next to Newport Beach was in Costa Mesa and uh, off of 17th Street there was a Marie Callender's restaurant and and we would go buy pies there often they taste different obviously fresh than they do the frozen kind but it's it's still wonderful right babe yeah all right if you make a right here guys you're gonna be heading towards the the dump up here big bear transfer station and there's also a way up that mountain on a road through here too and that'll take you back to Holcomb Valley it's a really nice drive a little bit dangerous and scary but it's a really nice drive Water from. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'll show you exactly. Could they be wells, babe? No, it's literally one of those things. No way. Like That's cool. But well, because we do have a lot of water in our aquifers here, so so yeah, maybe they're just getting water from our aquifers. That's that's super cool, babe. I never knew that. Thanks for sharing that because I never knew that. Oh, there it is right there. You can see oh it. yeah, oh yeah. That little black thing right there. Oh totally, it is a water fountain. No, babe, how did you ever notice that? I don't know. I, don't, I was driving and then I just saw it. And then she just saw it. That's really cool, babe. I mean, maybe, maybe, it's, it's possible. If anybody knows, please share. Yeah, let us know what those, what that, that, that water fountain could be. It's just sitting in the middle of nowhere. But look at Baldwin Lake, you guys, just awesome. It's so much water. And unfortunately, none of this is gonna, like, they should have some big pumping system that pumps this into Big Bear Lake. So we can fill up Big Bear Lake, but. The people in Baltimore are like, no. Yeah, they're like, heck no. <laughs> We're happy to get our lake once a year. Yeah. But I think this is one of the, the biggest lakes out here I've seen in the eight years I've been here. It, it really is so pretty. right there there's bear mountain on the left that part that's dug out of the mountainside and then to the right snow summit and then further to the right that was our first ski resort in in this area um, i'm not remembering the name here's a bunch of water right here too but as you guys can see this side of town there's, a, there's a, a lot of dry patches of old, just dirt everywhere because it doesn't snow as much over here. But once again, just try to remember what this side looks like compared to when we get to the Big Bear Dam. It's just a crazy night and day difference. It really is.
754. So this street here, Paradise, this is the one of four uh, roads that you can take to get from this, the North Shore here to the South Shore. So there's Paradise, and then there's Greenway coming up, and then there's Division, and then Stanfield Cutoff. Those are the four ways from North Shore to South Shore. And keep in mind, all the resorts are on the South Shore, you guys. We are getting through some of Big Bear City, which I didn't think we were going to get to do much, but we are getting quite a bit. And once again, I know it looks like we're we're going super fast, but we're cruise controlling at 40 because that is the speed limit, and it's not icy or snowy. We're we're good to go. But when I look through the camera, it does look like we're flying. So I understand where people's concern comes from, but I'm good, thank you. snow everywhere it really is so so pretty here and as you see the further we drive this direction the more snow we will be coming into we're coming up to a road called division road this is the third of four crossings from uh, south to north shore and once you pass the next one Stanfield cutoff the only way to get to the, to the south shore is to drive all the way around the lake So nice. That there used to always be water in there. You can see all the water markings on uh, the uh, what should we call it on the post or poles from the from that walkway. crashed my car this car it was coming the other direction but I'll show you guys exactly where it was the person was stopped turning left into the church and I didn't even didn't, didn't even notice right right here right there right there that's right where we crashed where I crashed Fonskin area. Once again, beautiful views of Snow Summit and Bear Mountain. It really is a, a, a beautiful place. Okay, and in the next couple days when we do our lake walk, we're gonna do it from, from here. We're gonna park on the right side over here and then cross the street and go walk over to this area and just walk down to the lake and do a 15 to 20 minute walk for you guys. Are you, are 
You want to do that, babe? Yeah. Look at how much more water is in the lake, babe. It's way higher. It's so beautiful. And we're still 10 feet below full. But it's gorgeous. It's looking great. something special you guys and as i said oh my gosh you used to be able to see the beach on this side driving right now you can't see the beach it's water oh my gosh babe that's awesome i am noticing a huge 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 difference You guys can see how much gas I go through doing these these videos, but it's so worth it. It's an investment to bring you guys up here. Here's the Discovery Center. Turn right here. We're gonna be doing a video there. I hope they'll let me do it inside. I don't see why they wouldn't. Here's Serrano Campground to the left. You turn down that street and Serrano Campground's a, a very big camp area in this area. It might be the biggest one, but don't quote me on that. entering fawn skin now population 380 elevation 6750 feet this is where the serrano campground is it's that's the, it's this whole area back through here they have so many campsites i'd like to get one of those those rooftop tents so we can sleep on the roof even though we can put these seats oh, down. That would be fun. I saw somebody with one of those before. Those look awesome, don't they? Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't, we can't sleep inside this car because my trunk's full with like an air compressor and all this stuff for my train horn. <laughs> the other car we could. Yeah. All right, so we are entering the neighborhoods of Fawnskin now. Just so pretty through here. All these homes are right on the lake over here to the left. This has always been one of my favorite homes right here. And from that second floor, that view is just right here. It's so beautiful. If you guys want peace and quiet and less tourism when you're up here, this part of town's a great place to go. Fawn skin. This part of the valley. Yeah, there's so much more water in the lake, babe. This is so unbelievable.
looks beautiful. There is so much snow up there. Those mountains way back there, you guys, there is so much snow on top of those mountains. I think this season they've received over 25 feet of snow. Really? Yeah. A lot of snow. But the top up there is 11,555 feet. So it's a lot higher than we are right here. Almost twice as high. Almost. And it sits right in front of our mountain range, so the, the storms dump everything they got on San Gorgonio, and then we get what's left over. I love these untouched parcels of snow. Which makes me feel good because that's kind of my home area, Dana Point. I'm from Newport Beach, but we were always in Dana Point. All right, guys, we're entering downtown Fonskin right around this corner. Don't blink or you will miss it. This last Halloween time, my wife and I like to watch scary movies, and we watched this just to watch ones that we haven't seen, and we watched one called Jack Frost, and you wouldn't believe it, like a huge amount of the film of the movie was filmed right in front of this orange orange building right here. I was like, I recognize that area, and then right away I'm like, oh my gosh, it's fawn skin, no way, and right in front of there, a lot of it, and we're coming up to like. A, uh, like a water runoff area, Grout Creek. So this is where a lot of water runs off into the lake. Very cool, very cool. So we are entering the eagle habitat area. I have a, I, I want to say that's the tree right there that the eagles are in. That one kind of rounded off right there at the top. Because if you see the other footage looking at it, that's the only tree that is, is well, rounded. There's also a sign. No, well, there's signs through this whole area that say eagle habitat area. Yeah. But that's the tree that I think it is where, where the, where they actually say, and you guys, in the last video, my wife actually yeah, saw, saw the saw eagles. Them, what, you didn't see them? Well, I I did see them, but we... They were, like, literally um, over... What was, where were we? What was that? Stan, Stanfield we Cutoff. Stanfield Cutoff, and they were sitting right at the edge of the lake drinking water with the other birds. Yep. Like, literally There were a bunch of bald eagles birds. right there. A bunch oh of them. Oh, my gosh. It was so cool. So cool. I've never I seen one up here. I and, like, get closer, but the traffic was crazy, and it was just impossible. She wanted to get out to check him out. I want to get off of the car. <laughs> off of it. <laughs> She's so cute. Look at that beautiful place. What's cool about Big Bear is that you'll have a palatial palace and then right next door a small shack like my place. There is so much more water on the lake. Guys, that is that's so awesome. Look at how cute that place is. 
good point, huh? These places look like you need to hike to. Yeah. You can see Snow Valley through here a little bit. That's really cool, babe. I've, 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 I've never noticed that from here. Look at how much snow's on top of Snow Valley. My goodness. Oh, yeah. It's just piled with white. Shack right there. I would be happy with that. Totally. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. These views really are something, guys. From these homes right across the street from the lake. Oh, it is so unbelievably pretty. And you know what? On our way back, we're going to go through Boulder Bay. How's that sound, baby? I know it's already a super long drive, but, you know, if, so am I, baby. While we're patching the video together, we'll go grab some food. I don't know, something, something quick. Something quick and really bad for us. <laughs> what are you thinking, babe? What would you like to eat? Remember, I, I I bought food. Some taquitos. It's just I bought all that food last night because I can see if I have a few extra bucks, my darling. Some taquitos. From where? I don't know. Best taquitos. You could go get frozen taquitos and make them at home. You're hungry now, though. <laughs> And I'm pretty hungry myself. I wish it was Tuesday again. We're gonna have to do that Taco Tuesday every Tuesday. Those were like the best tacos ever. I wish there was an Alberto's up here. Oh my gosh, I love Alberto's. They give you like six taquitos and they're just like caked with top milk. Like, every time I, I I would order the, the, uh, the taquitos, it always came in three, three, Roll. I think there, there's a choice oh. of how many you can get. Like, there's like the family size or something. Oh my gosh, come on, Albertos. Move up here, Albertos, please. I, know. I heard the ownership of Al Albertos doesn't franchise. That's why you see so many, so many restaurants with, with a name that looks identical to Albertos, the same colors, everything. Like, in, in Lake Forest, next to where my mom used to live, there's a place called Alertos. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and it's the exact same food. There's Alejandro's. Um, it's, it's the exact same same food, the exact same everything. But they they did that because they're not creative enough and want to ride other people's coattails, which I do not like that. But at the same time, it was right down the street and it tasted just like Alberto's. So I've always wondered why Alberto's never really allowed for franchising. We're at the Big Bear Dam, by the way, you guys. And then straight ahead where those beautiful clouds are, that's Snow Valley Ski Resort. That is so pretty. Let's zoom in on that for a moment, guys. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. If you turn right here, you guys, you are leaving Big Bear, heading into the little Arctic Circle on Highway 18. and. If you keep going, you'll be going through Running Springs and Arrow Bear, and then you'll be headed down the mountain if you want. You can take Highway 330 down or stay on, on Highway 18 and bypass Lake Arrowhead, drive through Crestline, and end up at the bottom. Can't wait to get my motorcycle back. Some of these rides are just going to be so, 
it's been so long since I've ridden my bike. It's almost been a year. I'm jonesing for that thing. I'll tell you what, guys. I'll be a lot more safe now because I am married. Um, but the awesome thing about a motorcycle, which I never realized, is it's, it's like a forced meditation. You have to be in the now. You can't think about anything going on in your life. You have to focus on what's happening right this moment. And I really, really enjoy that. It's like a break from your thoughts. part of the valley as you guys can see this side compared to where we just were out in Baldwin Lake look at how much more snow it's just a huge discrepancy it's not just a couple inches it's like many feet difference said boulder bay is going to be our last well you know what we're, we're we're going to go through boulder bay and then we're going to just drive by that what's that other sledding area called babe um aspen glen or something like or no uh you know what i'm talking about on the right hand side up here you take tulip street and then you end up at that like picnic area it, it was one of the spots on the four free sledding areas that I posted. Can't think of it. I can't think of it either. We'll be there soon anyway. And once we get to the Chevron, the video is going to be over. But yeah, look at how much snow. It's so un unbelievably pretty. These signs, you can't even see them. That one right there is almost completely buried another inch or two and it would have been completely buried. Big Bear Lake, 6,025 people and 6,750 something feet elevation. side there was nothing it was just dirt you could walk around and cruise in it so it's really nice to see all the water in here and our sister town guys is Abtenu Austria you guys need to look that up on Google Abtenu A-B-T-E-N-A-U I believe or E-U at, at the end it's unbelievably beautiful That's the pretty big sister, <laughs> right, babe? Abtenu. Big Bear compared to Abtenu is like the redheaded stepchild, right? <laughs> as people refer to it as. Even though we're a gorgeous town too, that place is literally heavenly. All right, we're turning left on Blue Jay to go into Boulder Bay. And then we are going to turn left here. What's this street called, baby? Great, great place to park. So this is another great neighborhood, you guys. A lot of snow in, in this neighborhood as well. 
Yeah, you did a house there. I remember. Yeah. I remember. I remember. A, a, a famous MMA announcer owns a house right here. He's a friend of mine. His name's Carlos. He looks just like Mike Goldberg too, which is hilarious. For those of you who are in the MMA world, Mike Goldberg was an announcer for the UFC for years, a commentator. And Carlos looks just like Mike. It's hilarious and sounds just like Mike. So we're just going to go straight through here. This is a place that we have not done too much uh, driving. Right. And when you get back into here, you get closer to the houses that are right on the lake. It's a, it's a really beautiful area. A ton of snow. As I tell you guys, the snowiest parts of the whole valley not, I'm not talking Upper Moon Ridge, I'm talking of the valley itself would be like this area and cl cl uh, closer we get to Big Bear Boulevard and I just kind of screwed up here. I'm going the wrong way. I went down the wrong way. <laughs> so now we're on water view. We're gonna take water view, you guys, until it takes us out of here. And then the last stop's gonna be that other sledding location. Beautiful that fence is, man. Isn't that really nice? That wood fence. <laughs> These places are right on the lake, you guys. I don't know if, if, if you'll be able to see through some of these nooks and, and crannies. I don't know why it's ringing like that. Because you're plugged in. Just text her, tell her you, you'll, you'll call her in like 15 minutes. We'll be done. And then we gotta go get some food for my beautiful bride. Why don't we do a pickup order from Azteca for taquitos? Sounds great to me. Or do you want a bean and cheese burrito? I kind of want both, but you know, I know I'll be full af after one of those. That's the problem being kind of like broke. <laughs> Is that you know you can get satisfied, but you can't get full. I'm so hungry. I feel sick. Hang on. So beautiful. So yeah, guys, this is the Boulder Bay neighborhood. I really love it in here. I think this will take us out on Cienega. I'm not sure. As I told you guys, there's a couple smaller spots that we're definitely missing, but for the most part, this is one of the most thorough aftermaths that we've done. So that, that shot that you guys just saw, that's a, a good example of how much more water we still need because there were docks right there at the very end and, and the water was way far down there. Yep, we're on Cienega. All right, we're back to Big Bear Boulevard here. Okay, there's, and then we got these guys coming this way. Let's see, we could probably make it now. Here we go. So the next right turn on Tulip is where we're going to be going to uh, check out 
I don't know why I spaced the name of it, Aspen Glen or something. I tell you guys all the time, this area used to be our drive-in theater, and now it's a real estate office. <laughs> and then coming up here as a kid, the water would go all the way up to, to right here. So yeah, there still is quite a bit. The lake's missing. But we're on the right track. Civic Center. So this is not this right turn, but the next right turn, the street's called Tulip. We're gonna turn right on Tulip. Ooh, or we could try some of their carne asada fries. No? You can get whatever you want, honey buddy. Alright, Tulip. Some beautiful little untouched areas of snow on this street as well. These piles of snow. Huge piles of snow. Straight ahead, I mean look at that area. Look, babe, look at that, look at how, how pretty those little hills of snow are. With a little creek running there. Oh, it's so nice. It's so pretty. Can't stress to you guys enough how fortunate I am to be living here. No parking or stopping. Violators will be punched in the face and towed. So we're coming up to some of the areas where you can try to find legal parking and hop onto these hills over here. The snow is going to be very deep, but it'll be worth it. You need good sleds for the deep snow. All right, we're coming up to this area where I like to refer you guys to go sledding. Aspen is. Glen. It is Aspen Glen. Comes with... What happened, babe? Okay, you guys, I need to roll, roll, roll down our window just so we can see. Okay. So there's a lot of people trying to get in and out of here, guys, so we're not going to be able to stay too long, but this is Aspen Glen picnic area. It's a great place to go sledding. Plenty of parking usually. Um, we're gonna we're gonna make a U-turn. We're, we're we're gonna turn left just to get another view of it, a better view of it from this side of the road. And then if we make a left on this road, which we're not going to, we're going to make a U-turn. But if, if we make a left on this road, it turns into the 2N10, which drives behind our mountain range. And in the summertime, we, we do this drive a few times. I think you guys will absolutely love it, especially this next summer, because everything's going to be so pretty on that side. Bear crossing here. Yep, bear crossing here. Once again, here's Aspen Glen picnic area. And a lot of people are sledding there, which I love to see. Look at all these kids having fun, babe. That's so awesome. It is so awesome. All right, let's roll this up. Babe, it's $11 for only four taquitos. That's crazy. Yeah, we're over it. Right? Ten ninety nine for four taquitos. We're over it. I know they're good, but... How about a tarta? call in in order to uh, that other Mexican restaurant that we like so much. What's it? Um, over by like 7-Eleven-ish. Uh, we used to go there. Remember? What's it called? Hacienda. Hacienda, yeah. Babe, this air conditioner is freezing my toes. 
Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, babe. It shouldn't be getting frozen with your snow boots on, babe. I wonder if it, if you have a hole in there. No. No. Snow boots are rubber at the tips. Aren't yours? But yeah, but I mean, these are meant for really cold weather. Alright, straight ahead, this is a paid sledding area. This is called the Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain. And not only can you do sledding here, but there's a roller coaster you can take. Look at these kids are hauling butt down there. That's where we'll go, babe. That's where we'll go. But yeah, guys, we're coming up to the end of the video. I just want to say thank you guys for cruising with us. We really appreciate it. I hope you had a good, fun tour with us of Big Bear Valley and some of the upper parts of the area. Um, Hi, baby. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Say bye, and Luna. Say bye, Luna. <laughs> She's loving her neck pillow. <laughs> she is. Thanks again, you guys. It's a long, tiring drive, but you guys are worth it. I'll show you guys how beautiful this whole area is. And once again, it's March 24th, right, babe? 2023 please like and subscribe for us share the videos help us out we'd really appreciate it until next time until next time we love you guys a lot thank you for all the love and support that you show us it really means a lot to us you all take care and we will talk with you all soon peace out